Hello everyone, this is Helios Raven. I tell you how I do it, even if you don't care. Okay? Now our second part of our more detailed painting tutorial. We've already done the first and second base coats, and I will admit I kind of cheated on the first coat by doing a primer as my main color, but again, whatever gets the job done. If you're lazy, you're lazy. If you're if you're more hardcore into this stuff, then go right ahead and be more hardcore. It's it never makes you happy. So, now that we've got our red painted down, our next step is to give it a nice little wash co color to get to help with some shadowing in the grooves of the um, wire framing that goes over our um, red plate. So for that, we get some bale red. And let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, there we go. And we take our red, the same brush we used. Alright, now our wash is dried up, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do one last, here let me put on a light, I think it's a little too dark here, what my next is going to be is putting on one final coat of red gore and then the red on this model will be completed. What I do for this is I do a very, a sort of a dry brush. I try to just go right over the main areas of the ship without trying to get into those crevices, but sometimes it can't be helped. I just do a little paint job there and there. Once over here. And once more here. Okay. And there we go. Okay, now normally you'd probably want to add a red highlight to this to give them a little more pop and zing, but like I've mentioned before, I'm very lazy and for my escort ships, I sadly let them not go away with a little less tender love and care than my battleships. So, I'm not going to put a highlight on this guy, but if I were, I'd probably put one on the edge of the tail fin here and near the front tip of the um near the center of the um dome here to give it more of that roundish look. But that's that for that, and we'll move on to our next step. And then the next step is going to be putting in some gold trim on this guy to give him a little bit of shine and sparkle. So, first coat I'm going to put is Dwarven Bronze, because I feel that makes the best coating for um, what I'm going to do, because I'm not really going to put a gold look, I'm going to put like a brass look on here. And I find that Dwarven Bronze is the best for this. Um, I'd probably suggest for some using a very fine detail brush because it's smaller and easier to not make mistakes on, but I tend to use the bigger brush because I find it's easier for doing a dry brush effect, which is what I'm going to do, is I'm going to just go lightly over the raised edges of this model, and as you can see I already screwed up, but I'll use my fine detail brush to 
fix that. And there we go. Okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to have to pause here and continue this tutorial in another episode. So, until next time, this is Helios Raven, signing off.